Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about AVAX. Um, yeah, AVAX has uh, is currently maxing out the first resistance area we've got on the chart here. Um, the idea was already a few weeks ago that AVAX, AVAX could have started its wave two correction, uh, its uh, wave two rally into resistance, but it seems like it wants to actually move to the next one. So um, what we'll probably have to do, I mean, it depends a little bit on how the movement today is going to play out, but it seems likely to assume that we're actually in the larger wave two, at least. Okay, um, yes, something more bullish can happen here, as you know, but first of all, we would need to see a break above $82 to really um, free up the space for new all-time highs, basically. Yeah, so if you remember and watch the previous videos, then you will know that the long-term chart is very questionable. It's a three-wave move. So that doesn't mean it's necessarily bearish, but it means there's nothing clearly bullish because there are just too many options. This could turn into a triangle and all sorts of all sorts of patterns. So for risk management purposes, we have to have the bearish counts on the radar. However, even in the bearish wave counts, I showed you two um, significant rallies were expected and it doesn't make any difference um, if it's a corrective rally at the moment or something that could take us to an all time high, because first of all, we don't know which one it is, we can't know. We will only know after we have, um, you know, a, a decent sized five wave move up completed followed by a three wave pullback and that will take a while. So we're just tracking the uptrend as long as it's going. And we highlighted um, first target area is $14 to 18.54. We're still in this area. And if we don't see a rejection here, then we can look forward to a rally most likely into the region around 36 to $82. And that's this area. And this is the wave count then, which we would say, okay, we completed a wave one, A wave up, B wave down, C wave up. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm probably going to go with. I mean, it will really literally depend on how, um, how the market is now behaving or if we really get a rejection in this resistance area. At the moment, it looks like it wants to continue higher. So I'm going to add it already to the chart. We can always go back if we need to. But just want to mention that I think it is worth watching for the next area up there now, given the strength of the move. The micro count I shared with you in previous videos seems to continue to play out um, and it doesn't look complete yet, which is why I am um, thinking, OK, we might go up, let's say, more directly. The micro count is extremely difficult to pin down, um, so I'm not confident about it at all, though the reason is the reason is that this move up here was likely an A wave, the move down a B wave. And yeah, this could be a C wave, but it's getting too long. So what we would ideally like to see is at some point, um, yeah, e so either this is an A, B, C and a larger A wave, then we get a deeper pullback in B and then rally in C. Um, Oh, it's just a massive extension in wave C, which just happens. So, okay. But it's, it's following the micro count at the moment. Yeah? And the idea would be that this is currently um, a wave five extension here, as it seems in wave three, then we could get a four and a five and that finishes off a C wave. But the thing is with, with the latest adjustment that this move up here in yellow is a five wave move. It should be as a C wave. Yeah. Um, I will probably have to, to change this a little bit. So, I might have to change this to a one, two, three, four, five. So I will probably do that after the video. Um, it doesn't make a difference short term. The, the micro count is extremely hard to pin down anyway. Best is just to focus on the bigger picture and the relevant pivots. So you can see how important the 1850 level is. It's currently getting rejected a little bit, but at the moment, as I said, it is looking as if it wants to break above it. So I will probably rework the micro count. The micro count is something that's technically um, normally quite, um, well, you could say it, you, you don't need it. Yeah. You don't need it in a strong crypto rally. Best, best thing you can do really in such a crypto rally in such a strong rally is to take the 50% retracement level of the last low. And that would be here. This was the low $12 low. And we take the 50% retracement. And a break below the 50% retracement level, which is at $15.10 right now, that this will change if the price goes any higher, indicates that something's changing, that maybe this extension is over, 
that we get a deeper pullback, for example. So it at least makes you take a step back and watch what the market is doing. And if it continues, then you can always um, carry on. But typically, that's the first warning that the local trend is over. So 18.50 is key resistance. Okay, And if we get above that pivot, then we can look towards or upwards to the next area, which is here between 36 and 82 dollars. But overall, don't forget, this long term chart is very, very questionable. Also, it doesn't give you a very clear micro count, which makes the whole situation a little more uncertain. That's my update about AVEX. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.